Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Bopper Extreme 2 and the Bopper XT. So let's start off with the Bopper Extreme 2. Now this will probably be an easy video for me to do because I, I know both versions of the game. So, the Bopper Extreme 2 has five actions. You've got the bop it, the twist it, the pull it, the spin it, and the flick it. Now, the bop it extreme 2 has six ways to play, and it's got like two different modes you can switch between, and they are box bop and beat bop. Box bop is where it will say the, the commands in voice, and beat bop is where it will say it in, well, it will do some sound effects for each of the commands. And twist it is the high score function. And you got pop it buttons either side. And the gameplay is very similar to the Bop It Extreme, except it doesn't speed up all the way like the Bop It Extreme does. The Bop It Extreme 2, it kind of like speeds up every like. I think it's like 64 points. So you get a little breather and you get to do like each stage normal speed, like each beat normal speed. And then it'll speed up and it'll go back to track one and it'll gradually speed up enough as it goes back to track one. So I'm going to play a bit of Fox Bop. Beat Bop! Fox Bop! Here we go. Quite a low pitch extreme too. You can easily be modified. <laughs> okay, so as you heard, Pop It Extreme 2 will we yell out a remark after finishing the game. So it does this scream, and he goes like, Wow! And then he's like, you get, you'll yell out a random remark. So you get like remarks like, That's not good! Oh boy! Do it the same, but better! Dude! Sorry! And, uh, you also get three different positive remarks if you get a high score. So you get things like, oh, look at you, look at you. And uh, oh, that's the best one, I think. And he says, like, killer, dude. And uh, he's like, not bad. So uh, that's his remarks. Now, when you play the passive mode, it has a different passive melody. Um on every beat, it switches from Pass It Melody 1 to Pass It Melody 2, and then when it goes to beat 3, it goes back to Pass It 1 and beat 4, Pass It 2. Um, yeah. Now, I'm going to 
talk about the one-on-one -on -one mode. So the one-on-one -on -one mode is new to the Bob Eight stream too. And basically, what you have to do is one player holds one side and they become the green park toy. And then they hold on to the other and they become the yellow park toy. And basically, green controls like twist it and pull it. And yellow controls flick it and spin it. And whoever, whoever side scores five points is the winner. So that is an example of one-on-one, -on -one, how that one's played. It's like a duel, a duel. And that is an example of a one-on-one -on -one game. Now, low battery action. What does it do when it's on low batteries? Well, this Bop It Extreme 2 is pitch bending crazy when it's on low batteries. I don't have any low AAA bat um, AA batteries to demonstrate, but when you put low batteries in this thing, it pitch bends a lot. And it does so much pitch bending, it gets a bit like, it feels like he has a sore throat and he's like, Bop It. Yeah, you know, he gets like really slow, really crackly, and a bit wobbly. His tuning gets a bit funny. Um, sometimes it's quite hard to understand him when he's like really, really, really low. But that's the whole point of low batteries is that you can't really understand it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is the Buffett Extreme 2. Made in 2002, the year that Ice Cream Chunky was born. Um... And Play Ranger 143. Next up, we have the Boppet XT. Now, the Boppet XT was part of the Boppet Refresh lineup that KID Group in 2008 said that we are going to relaunch the Boppet line of toys and we'll give Hasbro 10 years to, make, to sell these games that we've developed. So that's what they're doing now. Um, those boppets were done through Hasbro, but these are done through KID Group separately. So KID Group have been involved in this modern boppet project. And in 2008, they prepped a boppet shout for, to release in 2009, which it happened. And then in 2010, they prepped the 2011 boppet, which became this, the Boppet XT. So, Bob XT has a new voice, which is a voiceover done in a recording studio, and um, his name is Buddy Rubino, and he's been part of the Bob It project ever since 2008. And Buddy Rubino has a slightly lower pitched voice, well, higher pitched voice than the Bob It Extreme 2 announcer, and uh, his screams are a little bit different. They don't go like, Row! they they actually are like spoken. So they look, so, well, they, they're a bit of like screamer when they're like, ah, oh! and, but, um, yeah. So they're a little bit of screamer and some of them are like words. So they're like, what? And, uh, yeah, so they got some words in them this time. And, uh, so yeah, this one, they got rid of the Fox Pop and the beat bop and now there's just words solo pass it one-on-one -on -one, and they added a new mode called party where the bop it command becomes a body part and you have to bop it against your body so the gameplay is a little bit different to the bop it extreme 2 as the bop it extreme 2 scores all the way to 250 points and this one you have to get 100 to unlock a new level. So, if you beat 100 in Novice, you'll unlock the Expert level. And if you do the same thing in Expert, you'll achieve the Master level. And if you achieve the Master level, you'll unlock the Pro level, and you'll have to do three commands at a time. Now, they recorded by the same do three at a time, and they were planned to use that in Pro, they left it in the test mode, and there is a way 
you can access the do three at a time thing by holding pull it and flick it and selecting the game mode. Solo, expert, master, pro, and he'll tell you how to do the pro mode. Pro, do three at a time. There you go. <laughs> So here's Pro. And there's Tyler command. So they actually used a bit of Brain Warp licensing because Brain Warp was the first game to issue color commands. Now, in the Bop XT, they actually used color commands! Yay! Which I kind of like. Because it reminds me of playing Brain Warp, but in a slightly easier way. If you, if you guys don't know what Brain Warp is, Brain Warp is a very familiar audio game on which you have to um, have it facing the right colour. So if it says like yellow, you have to flip it to yellow. If it says green, you have to flip it to green. So the master and the pro level is very, very, very similar to what it's like from a Brain Warp. But you have to do the right action. So the colours are black, yellow, blue, purple, orange and green. So they actually used all the colours from the brain warp and the brain shift. And they added a black for the pocket button which is very nice. And uh, now they took the same plastic melody from the poppet shout and the poppet blast. The poppet twisted pull it sound from the poppet blast. And they took the flick it in a spin it sound from the Bobby Extreme 2 and they put that for the Bobby XT. Because they couldn't. They. Has for KID group, they're a little bit lazy and they uh, they didn't decide to create their own spin it and flick it sounds. But um, yeah. So I'm going to play the novice level to you now in Bobby XT. Flick it! Shake it! Oh, my shake is not working! I might have to get a replacement white one. Oh! Okay. I need to replace this one, folks. The shake it isn't working. I'll find one cheap on eBay, shouldn't it? Oh, yeah, the shaker is not responding. <laughs> Please replace. Ah, it's there now. Oh, the shaker is broke. That's why in 2013 Hasbro released a black one without the Shake It. So yeah, the Shake It they they figured out the Shake It wasn't working, so they released a classic extreme looking Bop It and it's black and it has Bop It Twisted Pull It Spin It Flick It. And uh yeah. So that was my comparison video of the Bop It Extreme 2 and the Bop It X. So it looks like I'm going to have to get a replacement XT white because the shaker isn't working. So I'll get that sorted. But um, yeah, I might get a different pitch. It'll be a different pitched one. Probably a normal pitched one or a low pitched one. So I'll be replacing this white Bopper XT for sure because the shaker isn't working. This is like my main, the only white XT I have. And don't forget, the black one doesn't have the shake it, so quite nice to have it play it with the shake it. Um, and as a little bonus to this video, I bought, I found another eBay bargain, and I found a brand new Bobbit Smash never opened, and I won it as cheap as five quid. And yeah, it's a low pitched smash. I quite like the low pitched ones. And this is what it sounds like. Solo, my score is 894. Level 1. Bam. 5 points. points. Ding, ding, ding. 10 points. 
Their soldering skills aren't good. <laughs> hey, remember me at the bonus rounds? Here we go. Oh, I can't do them. No, it's the Illuminati. <laughs> Uh. 45 bonus. Uh, try again. Go to sleep. Solo. My score is 894. Yeah, I nearly hit the 900. Ding ding ding. 5 points. You killed it. Yeah, I always struggle when the bonus rounds are coming that direction. I need it to go from the left. So, here's a good bonus round, folks. Yay! <laughs> And here is Hasbro's new Boppet for 2017, the Boppet Maker! Bop it! High score! 16! <coughs> Roll it! Roll it! Shout it! Test mode! Bop it! Shout it! Donald Trump! Shout it! You're fired! Roll it! Shout it! Military! Shout it! Woo! Shout it! Alpha! Bop it! <clears throat> Shout it! Niner Niner! Shout it! Bomber! Bop it! Shout it! EMP! <gasps> Roll it! <clears throat> Shout it! You're fired! Shout it! Pitch Ben! Shout it! Midi! Roll it! Roll it! Bop it! What? <clears throat> the game is literally called Bop it! High score. 20. Yeah, look, this game is literally called Bop It, yeah? Look. Bop It to start. Yeah, it's literally called Bop It. Yeah, he's right there. So, that was my video for today. And this evening, I will be on Twitch. I'm going to sleep. Attempting to complete a no major skips run of a game called Oddworld Abe's Exodus. Now, for those of you who've never done, ever played an Oddworld game before, now, Oddworld is basically a series of platforming games featuring a mudducking alien called Abe. And Abe, well, in Abe's Exodus, he was, some of his voice, a lot of his voice work was done by a guy called Lauren Lanning. He used a different voice in Abe's Odyssey, but in Abe's Exodus, it was done by Lauren Lanning. And, uh, I really do like his game... Dis I really do like what GC Interactive have done, making a game like Abe's Exodus. And I am making my own game, and... Well, I'm working on a game called Mob Shift, and I'm also planning, hopefully, to do one on Mob Bash, if... You don't end up in a war. But speaking of that, I am also planned to do a Call of Duty style game where you get to play online against one another and you're like on a battlefield and you gotta try and kill as many people as you can to earn the best weapons as possible. That'll be fun. And it'll be it'll be very similar to Call of Duty, but a little bit different. There'll be like different maps. Um, different, like, play styles. So yeah, this will have to be, this will probably be my longest video i ever done yet on, but, games, um, but yeah. So, yeah, I'll be like, trying to find a good condition white XT, because look, the shake it wasn't responsive. Let's try it now, see what it's like. Ah, shake it. Okay. Um, yeah. 
I'm out.